Hello guys, welcome to another secret tips for 1 vs 1 ranked tier 6. What I've learned from season tier 3 to tier 5 is that matchmaking can be quite different for everybody. There have been players who have been facing only the same class they have been playing. And of course, if you're a good player, you easily can do 90% win rate, if not 100%. And then there have been players, um, for example, my last season, where I was matched against uh, nine cruisers and one battleship in a destroyer, uh, where cruisers are the main hunter class for destroyers. And obviously, they all have sonar, some uh, have radar, especially now in tier 6. So things get more complicated and it's pretty likely you get matched against other classes uh, unless you're very lucky. So in this tips and tricks, I aim for fitting a destroyer who is able to fight all three classes. Because chances are pretty low, you're only going to face uh, the enemy destroyer um, if you're playing destroyer. Honestly, in my personal opinion, I think Destroyer class is the hardest to play uh, in ranked. It is very simple if you play only against other Destroyers, but uh, if you have to play against Cruisers, that's probably the hardest matchup. Because if a Cruiser runs against a Battleship, which is their Hunter class, um, they have still quite some potential uh, to get in, get the Torps out. Uh, battleships have a slow turret traverse, so if you're somewhat skilled, you manage to outmaneuver the Battleships. Uh, against destroyer cruiser have an easy life and uh, against their own class okay it's the same with every class and battleships against destroyers uh, because the map is so small uh, and there's only one destroyer it's pretty obvious uh, where they can expect the destroyer so they can align the guns in time and um, yeah chances are they're going they're going to catch it but for destroyer with the low hp um, you cannot afford to, to collect a single salvo out of all guns because then you're dead already. All the other classes, they can probably take one full salvo if they're not completely brain dead. Um, so having said that, um, you need to have some skill uh, to be able to fight cruisers in tier 6. So basically there are three destroyers I would consider, maybe four. And these are the French Vauclin. I would consider it over the Le Terrible because of the much better guns and the gun reload booster. The second is the Eastern European Orkan, um, which has the radar equipped and the big advantage of having four barrels uh, to the front. So you can stay nose into any enemy and uh, shoot at them, especially against DDs if you run into a mayhem. Uh, they have to broadside you to utilize all five guns while you have four forward and nose in and even if they smoke up you mm, smash the radar button and you just kill them. The drawback of the Orcon is it does have only four single fire torpedoes. So if you have to go against battleships you will have to have you will have a hard time because usually four uh, of Orcon's torpedoes are not enough uh, to kill a tier six battleship. The uh, German Z-35 is the third ship I would consider uh, for the fact that it has 5 km sonar and a smoke and both of them run pretty long, longer than a minute. So if you manage to smoke up and the enemy DD is within range, uh, you usually can kill him uh, unless he is nose in and very fast approaching. And that is why my counter would be the French Vauclin who can approach with over 50 knots. Uh, straightforward, so the sonar wouldn't be of big help uh, for Z-35 against a Vauclin and the DPS output of Vauclin is just amazing. If you make the calculation and you consider the reload booster, and I will do this for one versus one because uh, you only need to fight one ship, um, the Vauclin will have a DPS of 4000 um, while uh, the German has about 2,200, 2,300 and the Orcon is about uh, 3,000 and uh, the 
the U.S. Uh, gunboat is 3,000, 200, 3,300. So the Vauclaw with reload booster and two and a half seconds reload is by far the best uh, DPS you can get uh, against any ship. Also, the Vauclaw does have uh, the 139 millimeter uh, guns. And uh, next, uh, or let's say it this way, this is the, the the biggest caliber in the tier and you definitely will need it against enemy cruisers because if you are within three and a half maximum four kilometer broadside to any cruiser you're gonna citadel to to heaven um, you get 10 citadels with the reader load booster 12 15 no problem with that you just need to move yourself into the position to get within three and a half kilometers or closer So what are the drawbacks of each of the three? Well, I start with the Z35. In my opinion, the Z35 is very good with sonar, smoke, torpedoes are okay, guns are a bit, little bit weak, um, but the biggest drawback in my opinion is the speed with around 35 knots only, so it's pretty sluggish to play. And especially against cruiser, you're probably going to have a very hard time to kill the cruisers because the gun are low caliber, you probably have a hard time to citadel them. And so you need to rely on your torpedoes and uh, with this um, slow engine, you have a hard time to maneuver around. So that's why I probably will not go for the C-35 despite the good radar. Um, same goes for the Orcon. The Orcon does have radar, but only 15 seconds, which helps against enemy DDs, of course. But with the limit to four torpedoes, you're pretty limited uh, to fight battleships. So the Orcon might be good against cruisers, uh, because with the four barrels, uh, you can just rush the cruisers and uh, get the single torps out. But against battleships, uh, I'm pretty skeptical if it uh, will perform. Uh, but still, uh, I think there's a good chance. Um, also, the the, uh, the Vauclin has a little drawback. Um, the HP is not the highest, like in the lower tiers. Uh, the Z35 has the highest, with around 35, uh, 20, 23k. Uh, Vauclin was around 20, and Orkan was around 19. Of course, I'm using uh, Bay and Sims as inspirations for, for all three of them because you will need every HP you can get in a DD. Um, but don't, don't overdo it, don't take, uh, don't take height on top because 6% um, on, on 20k is 1000 HP more and um, you might find some better inspirations. Um, in my opinion, concealment is more important. Uh, because it, especially in Vauclin it, it gives you the, the edge or for Vauclin I take the Madden uh, for the turret traverse um, it will help you in, in close combat against DD so in my opinion those inspirations are more valuable uh, than going for a little bit more HP. So as you can see in this game here um, the Orkans st still can perform in a drive-by and also can can eat some shots uh, from enemy ships. Uh, you, you see I'm very open to all the enemy ships, so many ships are shooting against me. Um, so um, if you have to fight one battleship, you might be able to, to catch the battleship if you do some pre-damage. And due to the single fire torpedoes, you can make sure that you get all four torpedoes into the target. But uh, if the damage, if the enemy ship uh, is high HP and you haven't done any pre-damage uh, and can't trigger a flood because you did some trigger the damage control before, uh, then you might have a hard time with the Orca. So let's talk about the ships I did not pick. Obviously every uh, CC recommends uh, the American gunboats. Uh, but uh, in my opinion, like in the previous season, the higher the season gets, uh, the more specialized the ships get. And the only thing American gunboats are good is, um, yeah, quite high DPS and turret traverse. Um, but in my opinion, they are too slow, uh, like the Z-35. And um, they lack this special ability, like radar, reload booster, 
uh, sonar. Uh, so they, they are not really specialized. They, they are only good at gunning. And if you compare the guns, I would rather take the Orcon uh, over the, the American gun boats because DPS is pretty comparable if you use mortar on both. Um, but uh, you have the radar advantage. You don't need the smoke in one versus one. Um, because if you're fighting another DD, um, why would you smoke up? You make sure you sink him as soon as possible. And you have the radar to, to keep him visible and, and kill him. So I think the Orkan has an advantage over uh, the US gunboats. And then there is the Azolane uh, Yukikaze, which uh, is a very good gunboat. Uh, you may check out my other video I did especially for that. If you uh, put Kurita on him uh, with uh, strong turret traverse, 5.5 seconds reload, uh, you get uh, 2000 something DPS on that ship uh, with a very high alpha damage, uh, which makes dancing around very good because you have like uh, 5 seconds to swing left and right before you need to shoot the next salvo, while the, the gunboats, they can only utilize two, three guns, uh, because otherwise they have to sail broadside. And um, you keep the time for broadside with the Yukikaze uh, pretty low. Um, so Yukikaze is also quite good and has the strongest torpedoes uh, in tier 6, compared to, um, to the French um, Vauclin, it is 20,100 hit points worth of 18,000. Um, so the Yukikaze in this tier is the only tier who can sink almost every destroyer uh, with one torpedo hit, uh, beside the Z-35, which has 23,500 hit points. But also with the Vauclin 18,000, uh, you can almost kill every DD. Uh, and uh, the remaining um, HP uh, you just finish with the guns. So these two have very strong torpedoes and uh, that's why I still consider the Azulane Yukikaze being a strong enemy as well. But due to um, the fact it doesn't have a reload booster, I think the Vauclin is, um, is, has an advantage over the Azulane Yukikaze. Don't uh, consider the standard Yukikaze because it has slower guns. Uh, it's not comparable to the Azulane Yukikaze. Check the stats before you decide what you do. Back to this game, I think it's a good example of how you need to play the Orkan in the open field um, as a gunboat, uh, igniting fires. Uh, using damage control, using radar, um, using the, the two front turrets with four barrels. Um, so it's quite effective if you, if you play it uh, in that, let's say, low profile to the enemy style. So up next are um, the remaining videos about the Vauclin and uh, I will show you the real potential uh, of what the Vauclin will be able to do. Uh, this is my fit I'm using uh, in, in 1 vs 1. Uh, so the, the change to my standard 9 vs 9 games is the first and the third perk. Uh, in the first I don't use the torpedo reload but just the torpedo speed so I don't have the penalty on gun reload uh, which keeps it at 5 seconds uh, for the Vauclin and uh, 2.5 seconds with the reload booster. And you can see how, how, how good it is against other de destroyers. The Terrible has the same guns, but it doesn't have the reload booster. And you see the, the difference in damage. Okay, let's not consider the torpedo here. Uh, but you saw the, the HP was already much lower than the Vauclans. And uh, the enemy was shooting, the other ships were shooting at, at me as well. So, And the game, which you will see now, has the standard configuration. I'm usually playing on the Vauclan. I'm just explaining that um, because um, I'm using quite some torpedoes here. And you will see um, almost a triple strike, not a double strike, but a triple strike. And you will see uh, how I fight cruisers, and there's a lot of cruisers in this game. And how I use the guns against battleships and against uh, DDs. So you will have everything in this game, and I think it's a very good example how good this Vauclin performs against any class, and this is why I will choose again the French destroyer. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention for the new 
viewers. Uh, I'm using, you can see that 4.4 kilometer concealment is the so-called speed concealment. Um, you're using um, Obeno with the second perk, and this is the third option, which will give you a 20% reduction in concealment while the speed boost is active. So you can see the speed boost will run a, another minute, and for that minute I'm uh, with a concealment of 4.4. So that's less than a kamikaze in tier 4. Uh, but to be honest, in this configuration, like I said, uh, I'm using a uh, double concealment build. Um, and Oh no, sorry, that's that's wrong. I'm using Sims and Bay here, while in um, in ranked I'm gonna um, switch Sim uh, Bay for uh, for Madden to have the faster tower traverse, and uh, also three three percent faster gun reload. So that's the difference here, uh, and that's why in one versus one the the speed concealment will be around 4.7. 4.8 something like that but this is still enough to uh, to outspot any other dd and will give you the the few se seconds to bring your guns into position you can see that here how much it helps to outspot the jervis uh, so um, he couldn't do anything i keep him open for my team this t team starts to open fire and now he makes the mistake to to smoke up and stay there uh, why is that a mistake? Because uh, it prevents all the other ships to spot me. Uh, the North Carolina can't spot me because he blocked with his smoke the line of sight. So I can easily uh, rush them and I will now uh, attack all three ships. The Jervis, the North Carolina and the cruiser which will come in, uh, into, into the, let's say, the scenery here. And uh, you, you're gonna see what's, ha what's happening. So enjoy the rest of the game. I hope you liked this, if you liked it, uh, hit the thumbs up and uh, you might consider subscribing my channel if you're into DDs, uh, lots of content for destroyers and all these special events, um, comments on all the destroyers configurations, you find a playlist for every tier 5 and up destroyer, so if you're into a specific destroyer, check out the playlist and you will have a lot of videos how to config, how to play this destroyer, there are tutorials uh, for let's say medium to semi-pro players, um, you might get some ideas how you can improve your personal gameplay and your skill to make you better destroyer players. Because we guys need to stick together, uh, destroyers are the least placed class and the most hated, so let's increase the hate on destroyers and become better players all together. And yeah, hope to see you around and uh, enjoy the rest of the game. Bye bye and thanks uh, for watching.
Feuerlöscher Kreuzer versenkt. Gute Arbeit.